Okay guys, so we're gonna mix this brownie mix. You can use any kind. I'm using chocolate fudge. I'm gonna mix it up according to the box ingredients. We're just gonna throw everything in the mixture and mix it. All right guys, so I mixed everything up. I have it in my spring form pan now and I'm gonna bake this for 12 minutes at 350. All right, so let's get our cream cheese going. We got two packages of cream cheese. We're gonna add two eggs to this, a half a cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You wanna make sure your cream cheese has softened, so you wanna let make sure you let it set out so it'll be nice and uh, soft and easy to whip up. And we're just going to let this continue to blend until it can get as smooth as we can get it. I don't think I let my cream cheese set out as long as I should have, but we're going to work with it. All right, guys, so I baked the brownies for about 12 minutes. As you can see, it's not fully done. I only did that so to get a little bit going so that when I'm done baking it, everything is well done all the way through. So now we're going to add our cheesecake mixture on top of it. And you wanna to try to add it on there to not um, really break up the brownie cause you want the brownie to be the base. So because it's kind of soft, you just wanna kind of pour it on there as gently as you can. All right, now I'm just going to smooth it out, try to get it all over my brownie mix without breaking it up too much. So just kind of gently smooth your cheesecake mixture out over the brownie mix. And it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. You just kind of want to get it um, all over as best you can. So, you know, don't stress yourself out over it. If it does get some of the chocolate from the brownie mixed in, that's okay too. All right, guys, so now we got it all smoothed out as best we can. And we're gonna bake this at 350. And we're gonna let this bake for 25 minutes at 350. Then once it has baked for the 25 minutes, we are going to let it bake another 15 minutes at 325. All right, guys, so here is the finished product. Look at that, it smells so good. I let it cool completely. So I let it set out for probably about an hour, hour and a half to cool completely. And yes, it turned out perfect. As you can see, it's done all the way through. You can add you some chocolate syrup to the top of this, some caramel syrup, some whipped cream, whatever you desire. So I hope you guys try this recipe and I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Bye.